Hello everyone, CDNet here with another very special episode, one that I've been very excited for. Uh, with me, I have Ellie from the Colony team. Um, today we're going to talk about Colony, which is the latest uh, app that's going to launch via Avalanche. By the time that this video goes live, um, it will be tradable on a DEX, I think, and the sale will have happened. Uh, nevertheless, I think we're going to get some really cool information from Ellie today. One disclaimer that I do have to give is that as part of Aventures, we are invested in Colony as well. So I think that's good information for you to have and to keep in your mind when you watch this video. With that said, Ellie, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. I've been watching your video for quite some time, so glad to finally be able to be on. <laughs> very, very honored to hear that as well. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and, and your team? Yeah, sure. Uh, that would be my pleasure. Um, so uh, maybe quick uh, background about myself first. Um, so I've been involved in the in the crypto crypto space for uh, quite some time now, uh, since 2013. Um, prior to that, I have like a, like a financial background. So I worked at uh, big big banks like uh, UBS, Credit Agricole, um, here in France, um, but also in uh, in New York. So that was my prior experiences, um, and I joined uh, you know, the crypto movement, if, if I may say the, that this way, um, full time uh, early 2017. So I worked around different projects, um, mostly related to, to finance. Um, so building uh, arbitrage strategies, uh, then I was part of an initiative to build a regulated venture capital firm. Um, and then I co-founded early 2019 uh, hedge fund uh, called Exo Alpha. And um, basically what Exo Alpha is doing is that um, we have a systematic directional quant uh, hedge fund and we trade um, Bitcoin and Ethereum in a long short uh, way. Um, we have about half a billion dollar um, monthly trading volume. So this is quite nice for, for a directional strategy and we are related uh, through partnership um, by the FCA. So pretty regulated business, uh, crypto related. So yeah, uh, we, we, we know the space quite well. Um, and I got really excited uh, at the end of last year when I came across um, Avalanche. Um, and from there, I had some talks with uh, the team at Avalabs to see how we could involve myself and the team um, to help you know, uh, foster the growth of, of the entire ecosystem. Um, and after several talks, uh, basically, um, the idea of Colony came up. And um, what we want to do with Colony is to deploy capital inside the uh, the um, the entire Avalanche ecosystem in different ways, early stage, um, providing uh, funding to early stage projects, also providing liquidity to some protocols. Um, we're also going to have an index of the top 10 market cap um, on Avalanche. And the last part is the staking. Uh, so we're going to validate the network at first buying, uh, buying AVAX and staking it. And then um, we will have this, if we're allowed to, uh, being able to stake also uh, for subnets. Uh, yeah. So yeah. And all of that community driven, but I think we get, we're going to talk about that a bit later um, with you know, a lot of uh, mechanism behind it to make it uh, truly centralized. There is there is indeed much to talk about with Colony, I think. Um, the rest of your team, is it also from uh, from your previous company or is that, or, or how did you come together? Yeah, sure. So as you can see on our website, uh, most of the team displayed there are based out of um, my former um, venture, which is Exo Alpha, which is, by the way, a company that is still running. Um, quite nicely, uh, but as everything is automated, uh, it doesn't require uh, much work uh, to maintain it. Um, that being said, we uh, have a lot of people from Exo Alpha uh, working behind the scenes at Colony, for sure, especially from um, the finance part, being able to, to build those, uh, those models that, uh, that we will uh, um, make available for the market uh, in, in several months. Um, and we also have a marketing team uh, for sure. Um, so to do the marketing of Colony, uh, that, that, that's one side. Uh, and also to help all of those projects that we are investing in. So we are also providing them with marketing support and things like that. Um, and of course, we have some developers. Um, so we have 
a team of developers that is uh, growing. Uh, we have about six developers now, uh, three 3 dt developers, two front end, and one uh, like tech lead mm -hmm. um, to build our application uh, because people will be able to stake on our application, see their how things are moving inside Colony. Um, you know the airdrops they will receive, the staking rewards, and everything. So. Yeah, yeah, really cool. So you've already talked about Colony a little bit. Uh, I see a lovely banner behind you, a community-driven VC initiative. I've yeah. also seen it described as VC 3.0. Um, you've already mentioned it a little bit. It's about involving the community. Um, how exactly is that like different? What are you really doing different compared to VC 1.0 and 2.0, if you will? Yeah, sure. That's a very good question. So if you look at the crypto space right now, it's uh, it's pretty uh, easy to understand that you have some big VCs investing in project at a very early stage, having huge discounts uh, on the price of those tokens. And then those tokens go on the second market. So they go live trading on exchanges and decentralized exchanges. And this is where you know the actual community of those projects are buying the token. Um, and then usually the, those tokens go up from there. Uh, but you had like a lot of institutions making a lot of uh, capital behind the back of the community. I mean, it's, it's not like sometimes it's just like a line and everything is able, everyone is able to grow um, from there. But, you know, sometimes we've seen that uh, VCs are just dumping on, on, on actually the, the community. Um, so here with Colony, what we want to do is to still be able to provide what a VC provides to those companies. So marketing support, um, also some dev development support if needed sometimes. Um, network connection. So, for example, Colony is very well connected inside the Avalanche ecosystem. So if, an, if a new project wants to build on top of uh, Avalanche, if they come to Colony, we'll make sure they have all the right connection to grow uh, and build a successful product. So that's one side. And at the same time, we are able to involve our community uh, on those projects because they will have access to all those projects at early stage that Colony is currently re reviewing. So they will be able to see, OK, this one is, is coming uh, at early stage. Maybe I can join the community there and be part of the story very early. And so he will like his community member, for example, will have uh, intellectual, you know, uh, incentive to help that, that, that project at first. I mean, intellectual interest. And that will be uh, linked to a financial interest as well, because once this project is going to go live, he will receive from Colony an airdrop um, of the, the allocation that Colony received. So that's, you know, that's the way it works. And based on that unique mechanism uh, where we are able to airdrop, we are also able to have some unique deals um, uh, with those projects. So for example, it makes sense for a project now to accept Colony as a seed investor, for example. Mm -hmm. But usually for seed investor, you have long vesting period. So what we do is that we have some deal with those projects and we are able to take a portion of their community rewards or things like that to be able to add up that to our community. And that makes sense, you know, on both sides for the community because they are able to have something at TGE. So mm -hmm. that, that's great. And that also makes a lot of sense for those projects because this is not like a random airdrop. This is an airdrop to people that have been educated on the project that they are building, that have been, they are supporting the project from the start. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me know if I'm talking too much. I, I, I love the project. So obviously, you know, <laughs> sometimes I'm just talking too much. No, it's good. Uh, I don't think you talk too much at all, but um, I think I can summarize it, right? Uh, what you said is the benefit for the community is basically having access to early stage devs, uh, things that are in a way, I think, vetted by your team as well. Things that that, that you think are, are good, uh, useful, interesting. Yeah. So on that part, on, on the selection of those deals, um, so I, I think there is two things to consider here. So there is Colony now, so at the very, very early stage, and we need to kickstart the entire mechanism behind Colony. So for that, um, the core team has made some decision to invest in some projects that we think are relevant in the space. Um, so to have those, you know, rewards uh, for our community uh, in December, um, so late December, January, and, and you know. Um, that being said, once the uh, application is live and all the functionality are fully live, 
it will not be um, the core team of Colony making those decisions, but it's going to be truly the community making those decisions. So the community will be able to go on the application, upvote the project that they like on the deal flow. Then this project will move from the deal flow to analysis part, and then from there, same mechanism from the analysis to the investment com um, committee. So then um, at the end of the entire process, it will be in the ends of the community to decide if they want to invest on that project or not. Along that process, we will make sure to structure everything um, to make sure that they are basing you know, their, their decision on the right information and with all insight possible on that deal. So, so for now, we are making the decision of uh, investment decision, but in the future, it will be up to the community. Cool. And then, of course, for the um, for the project side, summarizing again. The benefit is basically they they get their seed investments which they were looking for but on top of that they get an engaged and informed community that probably has a, a bit of a habit of, of holding the tokens because they have to hold the colony token in order to get the the airdrops exactly exactly cool and and you already alluded to it a little bit um right now by saying the the governance uh, is going to expand what is the role of the the core team in in colony yeah sure so the current role of the core team is to bring the project to life, for sure. So we're working very hard for that. You know, um, we're basically doing uh, only working. Um, and so, yeah, the idea is to bring the project to life, uh, develop, you know, uh, everything needed in terms of uh, smart contracts, taking contract, you know, investing contract for, for the sale. Uh, but then the idea is to be able to accomplish uh, this entire infrastructure in a way that would make sense. Um, and, and to be clear on one thing, so uh, by the time of that video, I think that um, Colony will probably be live. Um, so the functionality available will be staking. So people will be able to have their, their Colony token, put their Colony token into the, the staking contract. Um, and then from there, we will release other features. Um, so they will see on the menu that, for example, on the there will be a lot of release in Q1, uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like at, at first only staking and then uh, based on that, so the, com the Colony Core team will uh, manage the entire uh, airdrop, for example, um, schedule, um, because we invested already in quite some, in, in quite a few projects. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, as we're able to have all those functionalities live on, on, the, on the application, um, the community will, you know, be able to engage engage even more with the with the application and have even more insight that they already have now. So yeah, to 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 to, to summarize, you know, the the um, the core team is here to deliver the vision, uh, and then it will be, of course, up to the community to power that vision with you know new ideas. Uh, the community will be here to to the core team will be here to develop those ideas uh, to make that possible. Um, and then the core team will step back, you know, um, at some point, we don't know when, of course, uh, it's, I think it's going to take some time, uh, mm -hmm. once, you know, we have like a fully, uh, like a full DAO in place. So, yeah. And, and I can talk more about like the, 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 the V1, the V2, the V3 uh, of Colony. Um, if you so, would, yeah. I'm open to it. Maybe, uh, at least a very quick, um, quick summary of each of those stages. Yeah, sure. So right now it, it's it's pretty simple. We raise uh, quite substantial capital, quite some substantial capital. Uh, part of that capital will be deployed inside the um, ecosystem, uh, you know, to power the colony mechanism. Um, so that's great, but that's not sustainable long term. Um, so because we are, you know, uh, giving back a lot to our community. So if the growth rate of the entire ecosystem, uh, of the entire ecosystem, is not uh, high enough. At some point, there will be no capital left in Cyclone. So, to be able to um, have like a um, to be able to have like an even better product, you know, so that's the V two. Um, we will have some pools of capital. People will be able to put some USDT, USDC on those pools, for example, and then based on that, that that pool of capital will then be deployed inside the Avalanche ecosystem. And the rewards com uh, coming from that capital deployment will then go back to the people providing capital to those pools. And at the same time, 
people uh, staking Colony Token will take a fee uh, to manage those pools. Mm -hmm. So this way, it's a scaling. Uh, it, you're able to scale, you know, the entire uh, protocol, uh, adding some fee mechanism, and being able to grow the TVL, um, you know, in the long run. Meaning also being able to help uh, even more projects. And my vision is that you know the Avalanche ecosystem will be quite big, and so to be able to um, finance that growth. We will need actually to have those pools in place um, for people that want to commit capital to those pools, you know, to, to be able to and, and for us to have the actual capital to help those projects. So that's V2. And then V3 will be um, so for my for my edge fund, you know, we're already regulated by the FCA and things like that, as I mentioned earlier. So we already have those uh, institutional um, investors um, contacts and we know what they are looking for. So what we would like to do is to build a highly regulated um, sort of fund structure. Uh, we'll be deploying capital through those pools, uh, but it will be uh, you know, a gate also to institutional investors to enter. So they will be able to commit capital to that fund that will then be able to commit capital to, the pool, to those pools. So we will be able to scale even more the TVL on Colony long run. But yeah, that's V3. It's, it's, it's in a long time from now, but uh, yeah, that's the vision. That's quite cool though, because basically Colony will really start as, the, right, what's behind you once again, the Community Relative VC initiative. And in the end, basically Colony will also be the gateway for Threat5 VCs to come in. Exactly. And, and, and but the community will still be in charge of managing those yeah. goals. It's very valuable for the community because they will have a fee on those capital, um, you know, on the capital managed. And it's also very valuable for, um, you know, institutional investors because they know that the capital will be managed by people that are actively looking at the ecosystem and that actually know what they're doing uh, because they've been doing it for, you know, quite some time. Yeah, the absolute DJs. <laughs> Maybe that's not the word you should use for, <laughs> for marketing. <laughs> um, so, so talking about the community, right? Uh, you've also already talked a little bit about your token. It's kind of the the bridge between you and the community, right? Um, how does the token work? Um, we know kind of how people will get them. There's an Avalanche sale right now. Is there any other ways? Um, and anything else you could tell me about the utility of it? Yeah, sure. So yeah, you you had the Avalanche uh, um, raise. Um, so that's on the Lunchpad IDO. Uh, the day after that, you have the IEO on MXC. Um, and then uh, there is the listing. Um, so li listing will be on centralized exchanges, exchanges first, sorry. Um, so we will have MXC and Bitmart. Um, and then we have other big exchanges lining up uh, for later de in December. Um, and we also be live on Trader Joe Pongolin. Um, so, yeah. So with with that in place, um, people will will be able to go on those exchanges, uh, buy some coin token, then go to our uh, application, and then from there they will be able to stake their token um, inside the application. So it's pretty you know pretty straightforward. Uh, you go there, you go, you click stake. You'll be able to see um, the number of tokens you have in your in your portfolio, the, the amount that you can stake. Bear in mind that you need to stake at least fifty token, mm -hmm. uh, fifty token to be able to participate. So that's that amount will be able to be lowered uh, in the future. So that's a variable. Um, we will see, you know, depending on what the community wants uh, to to do with it. Um, so that will be up for for governance too um and so that that's the first thing and then the, the second thing is that to actually receive all the rewards you need to stake coin token for at least 20 days mm -hmm. so there is a time stamp in the staking contract and if you are not staking for at least 20 days um and at least 50 uh, coin token you will not be able to receive uh airdrops mm -hmm. so you can have the last minute go in just to get the airdrop and then Okay, sure. Exactly. So we did that to avoid price manipulation around Colony uh, token, um, and this way it's it's you know it's better for Colony token itself. So it's better for people that are here for the long run, 
uh, and to actually help those projects. And it's also better for um, the project that we are helping because this way they know that it's just not like people buying colony uh, to get the, the, the airdrop and then sell that on, 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 on exchanges. So we want to create like a community that will you know, stick together for the, the longest time possible uh, to actually bring some value here and help those projects. So yeah, initially that, that's, that's what's going to happen. And um, once you have uh, stacked your token for more than 20 days, so if you're stacking right away, um, so after the 8th of December, um, we will make some announcement uh, for sure around like around that date to uh, be able to disclose all the projects we invested in. Mm -hmm. And so all the airdrops that will come. But people have to understand one thing is that if you're only stacking for 10 days, it will not work. Yeah. Uh, you need to stay for the for the for 20 days. And I think we will let people between you know, from the listing, uh, you will have like three to four days um, to stake your token. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can stake whenever you want, but if you don't do that in that time frame, you won't be able to to um, have the first airdrops uh, coming uh, on Colony. Yeah, so, you've been investing for a while, so there is a chance that those are the ones exactly. you're going to be part of. Exactly, we've been investing for for quite some time. Uh, some of our investments are already public. We invested in uh, in uh, seven to eight projects already. Uh, some of them are well known. Some of them are not known at all, but they're they're gonna be quite, I think, su successful for sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a. Uh, you have, for example, in the coming. Um, I, I'm not sure what what I can disclose uh, on on that front, but for like for example, we. We had an AMA last week with uh, Platypus. Yeah. Uh, they will be coming up very shortly. That's going to be an amazing project on, on Avalanche. Uh, the team is is uh, incredible. And um, and I think, you know, it, it's going to, to do very well. So Colony had like a, a decent allocation uh, there. Uh, so that will be one of the airdrop, for example. Um, so if you want to have like a Platypus, you know, even earlier than uh, then, uh, then public sale. Well, colony is the way to go. Yeah. Um, we will like very another very cool project, um, and this is more like so. Platypus is more on the uh, DeFi uh, side. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have O Finance on that that, yeah. that we invest in, um, and we help them also with uh, some initial TVL. So um, that that will be part of the airdrop as well. Um, on more the NFT sort of like gaming. Aside, um, we had Tailcraft, um, and, and we had like a special deal with them, and we are really looking forward to announcing that deal. Um, but it's uh, the airdrop will be substantial, and there will be like some gifts associated to that, uh, mm -hmm. so, so that will be quite cool. Um, we have also Heroes of NFT uh, that is doing quite well. Um, the team is is really incredible. Um, at first, they were not very good in marketing, but now they are—they are just killing it, and uh, they are very technical. Uh, they, they're building both on uh, X and C chain. Um, it's a—it's a—it's a very good. Uh, it's a very good team. I, I know that you did a video also. Yeah. 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 Um, and then a very good project is Imperium Empires. Um, so, for example, with Imperium, that will be also one of the uh, airdrops. Um, and, and people will be, I can predict that people will be very hyped about Imperium. I think it's already very hyped. So. Yeah, definitely. So for example, with Imperium, when we, um, started to work with them, uh, they were nowhere to be found. They had no, uh, Twitter account, no nothing, you know, so, and, and they were sort of like, okay, we need to, we, we need to build the, the, we, we need to build, you know, like a awareness around the project. And so that's also, you know, why Colony is very appreciated by projects now, uh, because we are, we actually demonstrated that we are able to help them uh, successfully. Yeah. So for Imperium, we, we help them. Uh, we are still helping them, you know, every day that we have like a, our marketing team, helping them, you know, uh, pushing content and, and engaging with that community. So that's a good part. 
and then yeah we had a, a, other projects like uh, like Islander for example yeah uh, which is which which is going to be like a like a, a cool project I believe um, especially from the like being able to bring awareness to people about new project coming up in Avalanche they have this uh, um, this very cool system um, where you can uh, it's like learn to earn uh, sort of like mechanism yeah. uh, um, actually earn to learn uh, and so you know this way for colony it, it will be quite useful to have uh, and we have like a meaningful partnership with them this way you know people can um, once once they see new projects on, on our deal flow uh, we would like to have like a um, like a special link to Islander and this way you know people can learn more about that project uh, while playing and so this way um, the project have like a like people from our community will have a better understanding of those projects. So you're immediately integrating them. That's quite, that's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. We will we, we'll, we'll see how 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 that go. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one of the idea that we that we have, and we are heavily communicating on that with the team. So cool. Um, and then and then we have like a, a lot of projects. We have like a, a huge deal flow now. Um, so that was only the investment that we made. Uh, but we have. Uh, I think around 20 projects also that we are currently re reviewing and uh, most of them are very interesting um but like the least would be like more like close to to 40 projects i believe um, wow. the total so that that's um that's very cool and we have like so as we've been in the space for quite a long time we have uh, deep connections um even to other chains um so this way when people are want to uh, potentially, they don't know where they want to build. Um, uh, some of our contacts uh, just know that there is colony there. So if you want to build on Avalanche, you will have great support. And this is also a, a dynamic that we are trying to push forward. I think it will be great, yeah, getting more cool projects onto Avalanche with help, of course, of yourself and, and take other players. It's yeah, great, definitely. Uh, I think it's a very, very added value to like everyone involved. So that's. That's really cool. Um, I want to ask you, sorry. And and, and just uh, on that to, to finish, um, we're going to announce, uh, so I don't know if, it, if it's going to be announced by the time we produce that video or not, uh, but we're going to announce the first project that we are incubated, that we've been incubated at Colony mm -hmm. from the very start. Um, and that's going to be, I think, a, a very good project. Uh, so you will learn more about, about it in, in the coming days, uh, but it's essentially, uh, they are building um, uh, infrastructure product, mm -hmm. um, and they've been. It's already like an existing company that have been working for the past uh, three years, uh, working on on DeFi and tokenizations, uh, you know, mechanism, and um, and so Colony will be you know managing the seed round of that project, um, and we already are in talk with big VCs to make that as successful as possible. So um, that's going to be another very cool one uh, coming up for the community. Is that like real world infrastructure or like digital infrastructure? It's going to be, um, so with, with that project, it's going to be a bridge between uh, the ability to uh, tokenize assets. Mm -hmm. It can be different uh, sort of assets. And they already uh, have been doing so for the past um, two to three years now. Uh, they had like uh, in terms of deals on their platform, they had about like four billion dollars. Wow. So it's already you know quite large, and um, and they are they are building a bridge uh, for those institutional players that are doing some deals on the on the tokenization side. They are building a bridge to go on Avalanche mm -hmm. and uh, to on Avalanche and um, and with that a DeFi sort of suite of product. Um, so. Yeah. It is it is tokenizing the world's assets, kind of what um, what Avalanche's, Avalanche's mission is as well. Exactly, it's it's very aligned in terms of uh, of vision, uh, and they very they very they very want to involve more the community uh, in, in their in their way of doing business, um, and so I think it's going to be really interesting. And they are already have like a lot of edge funds and VCs. Um, talking to them and they want to use the product alongside with the community. So it's very aligned with what we do here at Colony, very aligned overall uh, with the Avalanche vision. 
so yeah it's going to be a, another cool one sounds very exciting by the time this video is live it, it may or may not be public uh, the company you said exactly, exactly otherwise soon very soon very soon cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so maybe when people watch it they know what we're talking about um i want to talk to you a little bit about your capital deployment strategies um so basically, uh, my understanding is Colony invests part of their funding into seed rounds, uh, like you're doing with the incubator and investing in platypus, for example. Another part of that is the, the ecosystem farming. Um, can, you, can you tell me a bit, little bit more about like what the capital, the multi strategy is and like yeah, how, sure. what those two pillars are essentially? Yeah, sure. Of course. Um, so. There is one side, which is about uh, half of the capital uh, deployed by Colony, which will, which will be early stage. So that's with what we've discussed so far here. Um, about 30% of the capital will be used to provide liquidity to um, to protocols. So it can be, you know, well-established protocols to maximize yield, but it, it can also be um, boosting TVL of new protocols, um, building on, on Avalanche. So for example, we did that for for finance, um, we also did that for uh, Axial, Axial, yeah. the, um, that have been live since like two weeks now, I believe, or so. Um, so same, you know, on, on that. So there will be different mechanism, uh, but for example, we'll be able to airdrop Axial token, mm -hmm. uh, for example, because this is like like a fair launch. So Colony through that mechanism will also be able to participate in fair launch, and we have like a couple of good Valanche, uh, you know, like coming up also on Avalanche. Um, and, uh, and and another part is just about, you know, maximizing yield. Um, and the, the profits made on that part, what we intend to do is that we were going to use those profits to buy back colony token on the market. This way it's beneficial for every uh, people uh, holding colony, colony token. And then we're going those coin token uh, acquired. We're going to uh, basically airdrop them to the people stacking coin token. Mm. But for for to receive this airdrop, they will need to be active participants uh, of the governance mechanism. So if you're only staking coin token, uh, you will receive airdrops. You will receive um, you know AVAX staking rewards, these sort of things. But you will not receive extra uh, CLY. You will not gotcha, receive yeah. to receive them. You need to have um, a lot of engagement with the governance, being able to vote on project, provide analysis, um, you know, and all, all those mechanisms. So this way, we're incentivizing also the community to actively participate uh, and not just uh, stake. Yeah, that's cool though. Um, and I guess. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to, to seeing it implemented. I think we've seen uh, quite often in, in DeFi that there is a lot of governance tokens, but there's a limited group that does um, active governance. So I'm, curi I'm, I'm curious to see um, with the extra incentives for them, how that will work out. Of course, I think we have to wait at least for Colony V2 for that one. Yeah, exactly. So at, at first, it's not going to be live uh, because it will be only staking, uh, but we are actively building it. So I think... Uh, um, yeah, on the roadmap, it's Q1. It will be deployed in, in Q1 for the for the early stage uh, side of it. Um, so yeah, and I, I want to touch base on the ecosystem farming uh, sort of principle. Um, the idea is that for the past two years, everyone talked about yield farming, um, and now like and and I talked about that with uh, Mark uh, from Eva Launch Launchpad because yeah. we, we we are talking a lot and. Uh, Basically, this idea of ecosystem farming is that through only one token that you are staking, you have access to the growth of an entire ecosystem. So by only staking coin token, you have access to all those airdrops from early stage projects. Um, you also have access to AVAX staking rewards. So you will also grow uh, uh, um, your AVAX portfolio. Um, you will also have access to fair launch because Colony will also airdrop those tokens acquired at fair launch. Um, and then in terms of um, the actual growth rate, uh, for example, that you get like, like APY and things like that, as Colony will buy back Colony token with the profits made on that front, you will actually also benefit from, from the yield uh, 
that is generated in, in the ecosystem. So it's, it's sort of this idea to have access uh, with one token to the growth of the entire ecosystem. So for some yeah. you know, people on Avalanche, it's very valuable uh, because you know, this way they, they know that they will not miss like a, a very good project. Um, so that's one thing, but it's also very valuable for other people, right? Uh, we're talking sometimes with uh, people in, in Solana or you know, other ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And they are very focused on what they're doing in their ecosystem and they need to follow the, the ecosystem and everything. And they know that it, there is so much happening on Avalanche, but they just don't have the time or resources to actually have a loop or deploy capital. They, they just know that they can just buy one token and have access to this growth. And as long as you keep on staking on a token, you are just building that portfolio, uh, new coins and everything. So that's, that's, amazing. A, that's the and, idea. And basically what I understand is that Let's say Colony had been around since since the beginning of this year, and it had it may have been farming in Yieldjack, providing liquidity to Yieldjack. People may have had, for example, the Yieldjack airdrop through their Colony token. Exactly, exactly. I think that's really cool. And then uh, I think currently you mentioned your ecosystem farming in Axial and All Finance. I think those are, are fairly low risk. Um, what is yeah. the strategy with regards to, to risk management for ecosystem farming? Because you know we're seeing a lot of own forks. We're seeing uh, Snowdog, of course, didn't do so well. Um, would, yeah. would Colony be in that or not? Yeah, so I think um, in terms of um, risk management, uh, all, all depends on the uh, allocation that you provide to those protocol. So as long as, you know, you can be a bit risky, but with a, a small allocation. So for example, if there is a new protocol, um, what we do usually is that we ask, so we contact the team of that protocol, and we ask them for the documentation, audit, verification, this, this, this sort of things. Yeah. So even recently, there, is, there was like a new protocol coming up, um, a bit hyped, and the team had a look at this, the the audit, uh, you know, of, of that um, of that protocol, and it was just not good enough for us to deploy capital there. So we are doing our homework in terms of you know uh, sanity, security check uh, for sure. Um, but then, you know, we, we can take risk with a, with small allocation. Um, so if you have like a new cool protocol that, that is launching and doing a fair launch, uh, we, we can put some capital there to be able to uh, build, you know, the, the a position there to be then able to add up that to our community and also attract more users to that protocol if the protocol do actually well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, a uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, like there is be there will be a, a part of it that will be um, for established protocols to maximize yield, and that the other part will be more like a exploring you know new protocols. Um, and usually, those protocols to be able to mature, they need TVL. Yeah. So you know you need to be able to uh, then deploy capital there. Yeah, it often helps for like even even good apps without a user base, TVL active community. They tend to struggle, so I think there's also a nice role there for Colony, especially also if it can get the community involved. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's a bit tricky because, like, on one hand, you want to have that new project that is building on Avalanche. On the other end, you need to be careful because you don't want to uh, direct direct your community into a trap, if I may yeah. say. Yeah. You know, so this is why we are doing our homework on that. And sometimes, even if the project looks great, we are also checking with our partners uh, in the ecosystem to see what they think about it, if they heard about the team, uh, if they had like some initial documentation and things like that. So due diligence first, as always. Cool. <laughs> I'm always happy to hear that. I'm, I'm slightly risk averse, so uh, I, I, do, <laughs> I do like hearing due diligence. <laughs> um, I, I see we've already been going for a little while, so I want to uh, move forward to like, things people can expect by the time this video goes live. The Avalanche sale will have happened. You will probably have your first listings. Um, what are the things uh, in the near future that people need to look forward to? What are the major events and milestones? Sure. Um, so there is several things. Um, so on the application side, um, you can expect um, new features uh, coming up. Um, mostly, I think, in January. Um, but then bear in mind that if you have any feedback on that application, uh, we have like a Telegram chat. Uh, you can go there. You can 
ask the admins, okay, I did that, it, it's not working or it's not working the way I would like it to work. So could we change uh, that and you know, things like that. So we will uh, for sure uh, ask our community for their feedback. Um, so that's one thing. Um, so they can provide those feedbacks. Mm -hmm. um, on the token side, um, so as I mentioned earlier, people that want to have access to rewards coming up from Colony, they need to stack their token. Uh, so that's for sure. And uh, you need to stack your token for 20 days. So if you are stat if, if Colony announce uh, an, uh, an airdrop, you know, on let's say Platypus, for example, um, at the end of December, if you haven't been staking Colony token uh, for 20 days at the end of December, you will not receive that airdrop. Um, so there will be some sort of like vesting on those airdrop to make sure that, you know, it's a, it's not like a, a one-off that people, you know, we want to be able to spread that to uh, several days. Yeah. Uh, but still, if you are not, you know, staking, um, as early as possible, you will get less reward. So that's, that's, that's the idea. So people can, uh, must, you know, uh, stake if, if they want to, to, to participate here. Uh, that's one thing um from like the trading side we will have um other centralized exchanges um so we are already in talk with um like big exchanges so that's um that's will come into play mid to end december mm -hmm. um, sure. um and then from the project side so they they, they can expect like a lot of airdrop uh at the end of December, um, Christmas because, gifts. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right after Christmas, um, because we've been deploying capital since uh, since I think October, mid October or so, um, and and we want to and we have to you know it, it, it's part of uh, how Colony works. We have to get back um, the token that are that are live inside Colony uh, to our, our community. Yeah. Um, so by the by the time you know by the end of uh, December, uh, people can run their you know uh, uh, can compute what we have in portfolio and what it, what it, what would be live. Uh, but you know we have like um, all finance probably Platypus will be live, probably Imperium will be live. So you know if if you want to to have access to those, um, you need to to start staking. Uh, as um, as soon as possible, so that that's one thing, and then um, also on the fair launch side, uh, we have we have several fair launch uh, that I'm not going to describe more here, but uh, mm -hmm. that, that will be also part of the Christmas gift from Colony. Very mm -hmm. exciting. Um, I think as a closing closing question from my side, um, governance is not yet live. Um, but how can people who want to contribute to colony success, how can they contribute? Sure. So I, I think moving forward, like the best way to contribute is really to, um, like stake your token, then go on the telegram chat, share your ideas. Um, if you already have some project that you heard about and that you would like to support and things like that, if, if we're not live yet on the, on the, um, early stage side, you can you know, share that on our Telegram channel. The admin will have a look at it, and then it will enter our, um, our deal flow process uh, internally, and the call team will have a look at it and everything. So that, that that's one way. Um, and then you can, you know, support all the projects that we already invested in by, you know, retweeting, um, joining the Telegram channel, you know, asking some, some questions, just educate yourself, uh, and then, you know, understand how you can best support that project because at the end of the day, you will receive tokens from that project, from that project. So the more you're able to help and build a uh, you know, relationship with that project uh, to help them succeed, um, the better for, for the ecosystem and your portfolio. That's pretty cool, right? It's like you can influence your, in a way you're working for almost every dev that's, uh, that's part of the FNC ecosystem. Um, yeah, exactly. And, and, that I think that that's one uh, side that I've been missing in the Avalanche ecosystem. It's really um, be able to like have the community participate in those projects very early. And we don't like usually the way they, they 
people are participating at early stage is just through paid, uh, you know, AMAs and things like that, which is not very organic and, and cannot very scale, you know. So yeah. with Colony, we're building a mechanism where they can truly engage with the, with those projects and, and really help them to, to move forward in their journey. Really cool. And then let's say I am a, a project that wants some funding. How can I, how can I reach you? How can I reach the Colony team? Sure. Um, that's a good question. So you, you can go same thing on our Telegram chat, uh, reach out to the admins and, and, and they will forward that to, to us. Um, and, um, yeah. And, and, and then like what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, build the entire infrastructure for those projects to directly be able to, um, put their project on colonies deal flow, uh, once it's live. Uh, but for now you can easily. Uh, share that on, on the group um, and with the admins uh, of our, our Telegram group, and then they, they will uh, forward that to the call team directly, for sure. It may be a very good uh, way for projects to get some visibility if at some point governance is live and they can just propose their own project as an investment, have a lot of people look into it, and it's maybe a great way for people to get some some awareness of their, their new app. Yeah, exactly. Like As long as you have like at least 50 uh, coin token. Uh, and that and that you're stacking for 20 days, you will be able to uh, push your project on 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 a on a colony uh, application. So once your project is there, you can tell colony's community, "Hey guys, you need to check into the application. I just put a, a new project. It's a very good one. You know, we're doing this and that. Please upvote that project." And so they will have a button. They just need to click a vote, and then we will be able to see. You know, inside the colonies deal flow, what is the actual, um, you know, wave of communities supporting, uh, like which projects? So, mo the the most highly voted projects, they will be able to then go to the next stage, which which is analysis, and then same mechanism to go to the uh, investment committee. So very good for everybody at home wanting to launch a project. Make sure you have at least fifty colony tokens. <laughs> exactly. Um, with that, I think we've reached like a good time to to go towards the, an end with this interview. Uh, Ellie, thank you so much for your time. Do you have any closing thoughts you want to share with the, the community? I think I already talked uh, enough. Um, th thank you for listening. I appreciate. It. Thank you for having me. Um, and yeah, like uh, just you can just come to to engage with us on, on Twitter, on Telegram. At the end of the day, it's a it's a community driven project, um, and uh, we're really here to help you know the growth of the entire ecosystem here. Um, so feel free also to share what you like and what you don't like, because uh, sometimes you know there's just human here, so we make mistakes, or we don't take too much uh, consideration the community. It, it's it, it's might going to happen in the in the future. Uh, we want to avoid you know those behavior as much as possible but you never know and we're not the first community driven project so we know you know sometimes it can go wrong and for that we need you know the community to be really active and give us their feedbacks as much as possible so yeah feel so, free to feel free to engage please be active <laughs> exactly exactly Awesome. Then, Ellie, thank you so much for, for being here with us today. I think uh, very exciting to have Colony join the ecosystem. By the time, once again, once this video is live, you will be act staking will be up. You need to stake if you're at home, if you want to hear your Christmas presents. And very <laughs> excited where this will go. For everyone at home, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. And goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.